One of the other things I raised on the radio, as I've raised before with the bus station, that is there's a stand F. Now that's, an, that's when the bus comes in, you have to access it through there. But of course, the, well, everything, anything they can put an advert on and get money for, they do. So those are the doors. And now it's represented, ironically, as a set of gates. All very confusing to know where the gates actually are, how do you access, where is the bus, where is it, if you don't, the timetable's there, stand F, you get there, but if you arrive here, if you have a sight impairment or whatever your circumstance, English isn't your first language, what's that, do I want to go to Andy's garage, doors and gates, is that where I'm going, on the bus? Not really, is it? Get rid of all the verbiage, get rid of all the advertising, just a simple, clear access. You don't have to see the buses beyond, just simple and clear. All this confusing information is totally unnecessary. Yeah, this is why one of the things I raised on the BBC phone in when you had the man from the bus company, Kevin, I think his name was, or Keith or Kevin, I don't know. These are seats in front of timetables and the map. Now, obviously, if there are it's difficult enough now to see some of these timetables if you're, if you're not very tall or look at the writing is very small, they're too high. If you're in a wheelchair, of course, or if you're not in a wheelchair, if there are people sitting in these seats and you have to lean over them to access that information or that. And down there is the desk which is going to become the tourism desk. So there's going to be lots more people in here. The demand for seats can be much greater. So, uh, you know, more problems ahead. It's just a case of caring a little bit, isn't it? Making the proper accessible. They ought to have a proper access audit in the bus station. I keep telling them, of course they ignore me.